Have you ever wondered what proof of work and proof of stake really mean? These are two of the most important concepts in the crypto world and they explain how blockchains stay secure and trustworthy. At first, the names might sound complicated, but don't worry, I'll break it down in the simplest way possible so you can understand the key differences and why they matter. Let's start with proof of work, also known as POW. This is the original system used by Bitcoin. Imagine thousands of computers all over the world competing to solve a really hard puzzle. The puzzle takes a lot of computing power and electricity, but the first computer to solve it gets to add the next block of transactions to the blockchain. As a reward, that computer, also called the miner, receives new coins plus transaction fees. This process is called mining. Proof of work has a huge advantage. It's extremely secure. To attack the Bitcoin network, you would need to control more computing power than the rest of the miners combined, which is almost impossible. That's why Bitcoin has never been successfully hacked. But there's also a downside. All of this computing takes massive amounts of energy. As Bitcoin grew, so did its electricity usage, and that has led to criticism that proof of work is not environmentally friendly. Now let's look at proof of stake, or POS. Instead of relying on computers burning electricity to solve puzzles, proof of stake chooses validators based on how much cryptocurrency they hold and are willing to stake, which means locking it up as collateral. The more coins you stake, the higher your chance of being chosen to add the next block. If you play fair, you earn rewards. But if you try to cheat, you lose your stake coin. This makes proof of stake much more energy efficient, because it doesn't require all those computers competing non-stop. Ethereum, which originally used proof of work, switched to proof of stake in 2022 with an upgrade called the merge. The result was a massive reduction in energy consumption over 99% less compared to when it ran on proof of work. Many newer blockchains like Cardano, Solana and Polkadot also use proof of stake right from the start. So what are the main differences between the two systems? Proof of work is like a competition of raw computing power, while proof of stake is more like a lottery where your chances improve the more coins you stake. Proof of work is battle tested, extremely secure but energy heavy. Proof of stake is more sustainable, faster and cheaper, but critics argue it might give more power to those who already own a lot of coins. Both systems have the same goal, to achieve consensus. Consensus simply means that everyone in the network agrees on what the true blockchain is and which transactions are valid. Without consensus the blockchain wouldn't work because people could cheat, double spend or fake transactions. Proof of work and proof of stake just use different methods to achieve that trust. To make it even simpler, think of proof of work as a race. Thousands of runners are trying to be the first to cross the finish line, and the winner gets the prize. Proof of stake is more like a raffle. Everyone buys tickets by staking coins, and the system randomly picks a winner to validate the block. Both systems keep the game fair, but they do it in different ways. So which one is better? There isn't a single right answer. Proof of work has proven itself for over a decade with Bitcoin and is seen as the most secure. Proof of stake is much greener and more scalable, which makes it attractive for the future of blockchain applications. Many believe we will see a world where both coexist Bitcoin continuing to run on proof of work as digital gold and other blockchains using proof of stake for speed, efficiency and flexibility. And now you understand the basics of proof of work and proof of stake. One uses computing power, the other uses staked coin. One is energy heavy but rock solid, the other is eco-friendly and faster but still evolving. Both are key innovations that keep blockchains running. If this video helped you understand the difference, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more easy crypto explanations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.